Ladies and gentlemen, this is your home main event of the evening. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the white weight division, Reese Lightning personified. Your referee in charge of the actual show, Solis. Introducing first, playing on the blue corner, standing five feet six inches tall and weighing in at 126 pounds, a mixed martial artist holding an amateur record of two victories against two defeats, all two And Will Spidal, who's in the blue and white, hometown boy from Beaumont, Texas. He's definitely hungry, man. Coming off a loss, coming off a loss right, right here in Beaumont. So he, he's definitely hungry for for a, for a win. And he's added some weight. He's added some muscle. He's got gained muscle. He still he made the cut at 126. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. That, that almost sound like a Bud Light commercial. <laughs> here we go. As a matter of fact, uh, Bud Light, Bud Weiser is one of our big sponsors. Takes his race to the cage. Oh, Will says, hey, let's go, baby. Let's start throwing some punches. Will didn't come to play. But I'll tell you what, Aaron keeping his hands up, blocking a lot of the punches. And uh, says, hey, I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. And he ain't backing down. So A lot of those punches were blocked. So we'll say, yeah. That one was not, though. Nice There's two left nice by Will Spidal. Yeah. Tell you what, this is looking like a boxing match, but a boxing match of pure excellent striking and, and at a great caliber. And Will is very hungry, as you said, coming off his lone amateur loss back in March to Joey Montel. Nothing to be ashamed of to lose to Joey, but Will is hungry as ever. I, lo I love these last fights, man. Both these guys. Uh, this could be the main event. You know, if it wasn't for a title fight, this could be the main event. Yeah, it definitely could. Nice. I like the way you set it up. You set that kick up perfectly. He's been throwing great punches, you know, rotating his hips properly, and it set him up for a beautiful, beautiful kick. That's all you missed, you fight. Come on, Will. Will in the white and blue. Gomez in the all black with 125 pounds for Texas Rage in the cage 15. The Boma said, nice oh. right hand. Will Gomez landed, said, bring it on, buddy. He landed a real nice clean punch. Exactly. Gomez is like, hey, let's go. We're going to fight, man. Will wants to be very careful. He's throwing a lot of big punches this round. You don't want an early burnout. Uh, uh, you know what? I don't see him gassing out. I think he, you know, he's training hard. I think he wants it. But now Gomez landing the punches. But, hey, could it be that Will's playing possum? He came back with a nice, excellent hook. Great deal, man. His, his hands are looking good. I ain't going to lie. They're really looking good. And it looks like he's landing the good punches. Oh, Spider almost with an overhand right. But I tell you what, Gomez is standing right in front of him, and he's not running anywhere, like you said, Noe. Gomez pressuring the pace. He's pushing the pace, which has been very fast here early on in round number one. Let's go, Will! Nice left, just grazed off oh. Gomez, but Gomez was able to nice almost to fly a knee. Coming off a nice hook. I'll tell you what, guys, this is a great fight. This is great exchanges. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of great fights going on tonight, especially on pay-per-view. Big box. But matches. nothing like here. But this is looking like one of those fights, too. Like yes, it is. I don't know the results, <laughs> and I don't want to know the results. I won't tell you. I'll watch those after this fight. Final this 10 fight seconds you cannot miss. of round number one. Wow, action pace. You got to give it to Will Spidal, I believe. In my opinion, I think he pushed the pace more action. But I tell you what, he's thrown a lot of punches. We'll see how both of these fighters respond in round number two. Your thoughts on round number one? Man, I, you know what? I don't know who to give it to, man. I, I like commentating than, than, uh, than, than doing the job of the judge right now at this moment. Because this, this is a hard, a hard decision, man. I, I thought it was a great fight. Man, you know what, I'm, I'm just pumped up, man. These guys are throwing punches. This is an amateur event. This is I, amateur. I cannot see a difference. I've been to so yeah. many pro events. We both, 
Yeah. And I don't, right now, at this point, I'm talking as, as a commentator. Sure, sure. And I, I'm speaking my mind. This is a great, great, great fight. Great punches, straight punches, no looping punches, hard punches. Guys, I mean, these guys look phenomenal. It's not sitting on the stool. Hey, Gomez is ready. Look at him. Hey. Round number two, Spidal in the blue and white, Gomez in the all black. Round number two, 125. Gomez landing some straight jabs. Nice inside leg kick, keeping it honest. Gomez pushing the pace once again. I, I like how Gomez is actually cutting the ring. You know, that's up there you learn in the boxing. Uh, weapons of hand, actually, they work on everything. They're, they're good stand-up, uh, good kicks. You know, they have good ground game. Uh, Gomez is doing a great job, you know, cutting off the ring. But I'll tell you what, Will Spido, he ain't having none of that. You know, he, he don't care where he's at. He can be on the cage, against the cage, don't matter. He's landing some great, great shots. This is the co-main event of the 15th edition of Texas Rage in the Cage. Chad Cooper from the Cage Siders along with Noe B, Noe Beltran at Cage Side. Watching these two guys fight it out. This has been nothing but spectacular action all night long, including this fight. And there's still more to come. We still got our main still event. Still have a main event for the vacated 145 title. I'll tell you what, this should have been a pay-per-view event. Yeah, it should I have. Pay for that. We hey, tried for our first shoot. For the takedown wasn't successful on it. But Gomez up, stops it. Nice Gomez standing right in front. I'm and, and landing some nice straight punches. Now, is Will getting too excited? Keep on throwing that hook. He, he, he threw it about three, four, maybe five times out of desperation. Right. And you don't want to burn yourself out, right? And you don't want to be too predictable either, especially against a fighter like Aaron Gomez. With a, with a, a, a season veteran, you know both these guys are veterans to the sport. Very good uh, defense, takedown defense there by Gomez as Will shoots in, doesn't get the uh, takedown. It's the cage. First time we've seen these two fighters up against the cage in this fight. Go Gomez doing a good job on the clinch. Will now spins it back around. Joe Solis, our official. Telling the fighters, let's work. And I, like I was telling the guys earlier at the rules meeting, we actually have some of the best, I ain't saying the best, but some of the best. Absolutely. Well known for MMA and boxing. And we have some of the best at, at referees, man. Joseph Lee is actually a black brown Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Uh, guy knows his stuff. It's a you very know, so thankless he, job, I'll tell you that. And they definitely respect Texas Rage, knowing that we allow elbows, knees. So they know that these fighters, the caliber that they're at. So he's letting them work. Both of these guys just throwing haymakers right now. Gomez got hit hard and he started smiling. I don't know. And another nice right. And hey, Gomez coming back, returning punches, giving him in the face. Like, come on. You don't scare me. I'm going to scare you with my faces and my punches. Ten seconds. Spidal trying to play possum here. Fast, taunting him, landing shots, coming up, being aggressive. Wow. Wow. It doesn't get any better than this. Wow. Another great round by both of these fighters. Very even through two rounds. I, I think Gomez definitely won that round, man. That was crazy how he just dropped his hands because he saw that he landed, he connected. We're actually pressed on time, but we're trying to run the show a little bit quicker. Uh, Chad Cooper is already telling me, hey, I got to get up there. I got to interview, an interview baby. We, we got to interview these guys, definitely. Gomez, as you or, says. Or, or Coop's trying to get that, that star power. I'm trying to get that star power. That's me. I'm paying the big <laughs> the, bucks. The, the so. K-Siders ain't enough for him. <laughs> the K-Siders. Hey, guys. Uh, you know, I'm joking on, on Chad Cooper, man. But this guy, he knows his stuff, man. Follow him on, on K-Siders. Uh, he's a sports writer and an entertainment writer. I do. And just about everything. He, he I love some mixed martial man. arts. Appreciate you guys. Let if you're me. having a birthday party, he'll go over there and he'll do my story <laughs> I don't know on about that, all that. <laughs> But I, I tell you. Number three, Look at his and, face, and Anna Gomez from, from mean, Corpus Christi, he's ready to go. Oh, he's tapping. He's like, Here we go. What'd you say about my mama? <laughs> this oh, both like nice straight jabs. Nice kick by Will Spidal. This fight's probably even through two. 
has not been taken to the ground. It's been stood up the whole time. Both fighters have been doing a lot of punching. Oh, Aaron Gomez was landing punches. You know, he came out showing faces, but you know, you don't get points for showing faces. Yeah, you're right. You, you get points by doing strikes and takedowns, and he's definitely showing them now. Spidal has done very good with combinations tonight. Spidal is very active. Now Gomez pushing Spidal back. Then Spidal comes back. I mean, wow, it doesn't get any better than this. You know what? Beaumont Civic Center is known for great fights. Back in the day, I mean, they used to Bubba have to be, we've had worlds, we've had world title okay. fights in this. Yes, sir. Roberto Duran was one of my idols. I was really that. I, I didn't know too much about him. But in this same place, the history. Some nice knees by Spinal. He goes up against the cage. Another knee. Taking him like nothing and landing uppercuts. Oh, Aaron landing a knee. Coming back with uppercuts. Hook. Great. Will Spider having none of that? Working the jab. One, two. One, two, three. Coming back with that hook. But now that hook ain't landing. They clinch him back up. Spidal's throwing some haymakers. He looks maybe a little winded here in the well, final I'll round. I'll tell you what, man. When you got a guy like Aaron Gomez coming and attacking and attacking and attacking, what pressing, do you do? Pressing, pressing, And this fight could go either way. Either way. Who's it, gassing sure. out? Who's gassing out? Will Spidal look like he's gassing out? Aaron Gomez going back to his boxing, throwing nice, straight, clean punches. Both fighters look tired. Gomez still pressure the price. A nice left by Spidal. Oh, Wells gassing now, but showing a lot of hard discipline. These two guys are mixing it up. One, two. Oh my God! Uppercuts, knees. Aaron trying to take it to a takedown. A takedown. A takedown in this close of a fight, Noe, could be a deciding factor. Oh, definitely, man. Right, right now, man. These guys are exchanging. Referee Solis said, let's go, man, let's go, let's go. He's excited, he wants to see fights. We have a takedown by Gomez. Let's see if he can do something in this takedown. Gomez landing some nice hammer, hammer fist. Will Spider holding on tight, man. Final 10 seconds of the final round. Here we go. Gomez landing. Wow, and that is it. Wow, what a fight. We're going that to the scorecard. That was a great, 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 great fight, man. I'll tell you what. It don't get no better than this. I'll tell you what. If you want to see a striking match, this is the fight to watch. Well, I'm glad I'm not a judge because I had no idea how to do that. Both fighters left it out on the cage. It's very great. Oh, 